How to look shorter if you're tall. There's no way to physically change your height. However, if you're tall and want to look shorter, there are a few things you can do. You can change the way you dress, wear shoes, do your hairstyle, and how you interact with people to make you appear shorter to others. The most important thing, though, is to be confident in who you are. Confidence can make others forget about physical appearance. Method 1 Using clothes to look shorter One, break up your body with layers and colors. Anything that you can do to break your body into sections rather than emphasizing the length with one long garment will help you seem shorter. You can do this by wearing different colors, patterns, and layers of clothing. For example, you could wear a pink top with pair of jeans and white shoes. You could even add a cardigan or a belt to add another layer. Adding a belt with an interesting buckle or some shoes with some eye-catching details may also help to make you seem shorter. Or, you could layer two tops of different colors and lengths. The different colors and layers will help to break up your body and make you seem shorter. Two, wear cuffed pants. Wearing pants with cuffs on the bottom or rolling up your pants can make you seem shorter. Try buying pants that have cuffs sewn on the bottom, or just roll the bottoms of your pants up to your ankles or just above your ankles. To roll up your pants, take the bottom of the pant leg and fold it over so that the inside of the pant leg is showing. Do this once or twice, depending on how short you want to make your pants look. 3. Put on horizontal stripes and multiple colors. Clothing with vertical stripes and colors that are different can make you appear taller. Instead of vertical stripes and monochromatic colors, wear horizontal stripes and a variety of patterns and colors. Horizontal stripes emphasize your width rather than your height, which can help you look shorter. Horizontal stripes are common in nautically themed patterns. Wearing a brightly colored or patterned shirt means that the attention is on your upper body rather than on your legs. Wearing a skirt or pants that are a completely different color from your top breaks up the appearance of your height. You may also consider textured patterns, herringbone, bird's eye, and waistcoats, vests, 4. Wear a wide belt over dresses. Using a wide belt is good when you are wearing a long dress and want to encourage people to forget how tall you are. A belt divides your look in half, giving you the illusion of an hourglass figure. The wider the better. Use them to cinch down dresses and long tops. 5. Dry capri pants, short skirts, and boot cut pants. Any clothing that breaks up the appearance of your legs is going to make you look shorter. This can be achieved by wearing capri pants, skirts that hit above the knee, and boot cut jeans. All of these can remove emphasis from your leg length. For men, this can translate to long shorts. 6. Use long tops. Long tops like sweaters, jackets, and shirts break up the appearance of your height, as long as they are a completely different color than your bottoms. The effect is that your legs look shorter. Waist length jackets can also be used to make a distinction between your legs and upper half especially if you have a long torso. Men can also try wearing longer shirts over pants, 
such as leaving a shirt untucked. Make sure that the shirt is a different color than your pants. 7. Carry a giant bag. While carrying a small bag may emphasize your height, carrying a large bag may make you appear shorter. If you carry a purse, then you can opt for an oversized bag to hold your personal items. Try carrying a big slouchy purse, a messenger bag, or another large type of bag. If you have a laptop, you can try carrying it in a laptop bag with other personal belongings instead of a purse. Method 2 Wearing Shoes to Reduce Height One, choose shoes that cover up more of your feet. If you wear shoes that show lots of skin on the tops of your feet and around your ankles, then this may make you seem taller. Instead, choose shoes that cover more skin or that partially cover the central part of your foot. For example, you could wear a pair of mules, oxfords, boots open-toed heels, or slide-on sandals. 2. Wear flat shoes. Flats are a pretty obvious choice for tall people. Flat shoes, even sneakers with a low amount of padding, don't add height to what you already have. You can do a lot with flats. Pairing them with skinny jeans for example. Most men's casual shoes are already flat, so just make sure you pick up a pair with a thinner sole. Most women's flats lack sole support, so if you are going to wear flats, either use a padded in sole or make sure you aren't going to be walking or standing for long periods of time. Wearing flats without support in the long term can lead to injuries that limit how much you can work and enjoy life. Three, select the right heels. If you want to wear heels in spite of the fact that they add to your height, choose heels with straps around the ankles. Your goal is to break up the appearance of length in your feet ankles, and legs. You also want heels with rounded toes to make your feet look smaller. Even with thicker heels, men's shoes are not usually designed with ankle straps. Men who want to be a little taller can simply wear dress shoes with thicker heels. 4. Dry Boots That Go Over the Knee For women, pairing skirts that hit above the knee with boots that go over the knee creates even more distinction between the top and bottom of your legs. Not only does this look make you look shorter, it is fashionable and can make you feel confident. A woman could wear shorts instead of a skirt in this situation. Just make sure that some skin is visible between the boots and clothes. 5. Choose Patterned Shoes for Men When not in a business setting, patterned shoes for men are a good idea. They shorten the appearance of the feet, and since most all men have big feet, this will add to a shorter appearance. Patterned shoes also draw attention to the feet, preventing people from looking straight up the body. Look for textured, patterned and colored shoes. Leather will often offer such features. Method 3 Putting up your hair to appear shorter One, choose a layered look. Since long, Straight hair has the same effect as wearing monochromatic colors and vertical stripes making you look taller. You should choose a look that is layered. Getting a haircut with many long and short layers will distract people from how tall you are.
Many waves in your hair can also achieve this effect. If you have natural waves, use a gel to capture them. If you have naturally straight hair, use a curling iron, overnight curlers, or hot rollers. You can even use a hair dryer over a rounded brush to create waves. 2. Create layers without cutting your hair. If you have long, straight hair that you don't want to cut, you may want to try putting it up in different ways to create the illusion of layers. You can accomplish this by pulling back only the top layer of hair or pinning up different areas of hair. You can also try braiding techniques that make your hair look layered. 3. Avoid lots of volume. Avoid hairstyles that add inches to your height, like pompadours and styles with a lot of volume. However, volume is okay if it is below the crown and does not push your hair up above your head. By the same token, avoid messy buns on top of your head. If you want volume, Add a volumizing product to the hair around the sides of your face. Method for positioning yourself to look shorter. One, practice good posture. Slouching may seem like it will help you to appear shorter. But it will not. The idea is to make yourself appear less tall because slouching round your back and shoulders. This may lower your height one or two inches, but it can also cause you to appear unhealthy or like you lack confidence. Slouching appears less professional and can cause physical pain and permanent spine damage. Instead, Practice good posture because it makes you appear confident and is better for you. Confidence is the key to fashion for tall men and women. Place your shoulders back and keep them relaxed. Look in the mirror and make sure that from the side, you could draw a straight line from your earlobe to your ankle. Two, sit down frequently. Always take the opportunity to sit when you can find it, especially at social functions where there are few other tall people. Sitting can help people forget that you are tall because it puts you on the same level. If you have a long torso, try to find a chair that is lower than others, or a bar stool or office chair that is adjustable. 3. Get on the same level with people. Stay aware of your position in relation to the person you are having a conversation with. If you are on a platform that places you higher than the person you are talking to, find a way to step off of it. Even though you are taller than the other person, being on even ground with them is better than being positioned even higher. For example, if you stop to talk to someone on the stairs, step down a few steps. 4. Place yourself near other dull people. To minimize how much others notice your height, try standing around people who are also tall. For example, during gym class or on the playground. Look for tall people and go make friends with them. Finding others of the same height can also make you feel less self-conscious and more confident, therefore less likely to slouch. If no on Etm's height compares to yours, find the tallest people you can. Method 5 Embracing Your Height One, make a list of the advantages of being tall. 
Many people are jealous of people who are tall because of all of the advantages that come with it. Write down as many advantages as you can think of and review your list whenever you are feeling down about being tall. These advantages may be personal, such as being more attractive to the opposite sex. The advantages may be professional, such as having an advantage in a sport like basketball or volleyball, or the advantages might just include everyday things, like being able to reach items on high shelves, to identify other things that make you special, Your height is not the only thing that makes you who you are. Think about your interests, values, and personality traits and write these down. Your list might include things like your taste in music, books, movies, clothing, or other personal preferences. Your interests and hobbies, such as playing a sport, baking, painting, or writing. Things that you value, such as hard work, creativity. And originality. Your personality traits such as honesty, loyalty, and kindness. 3. Write about your feelings about being tall. Journaling is a great way to relieve stress and express your feelings. To help you express how being tall makes you feel. Try starting a journal and write in it any time you feel self-conscious about your height. For example, if someone teases you for being tall, then you might describe what happened and how it made you feel. 4. Talk to someone you trust. Talking about your feelings can also be a helpful way to begin to embrace your height. Try talking with a trustworthy friend or family member about how being tall makes you feel. Talk to someone who will listen to you and who will be compassionate about what you share. You might even try talking with someone who is also tall and ask if he or she dealt with similar feelings. You could also talk with a school counselor or a therapist if being tall is something that is affecting your confidence or making you want to avoid particular situations. For example, if you are avoiding social events due to your height, then this can interfere with your life. Warnings There is no way to physically make yourself shorter. Do not try to do anything to your body to make yourself shorter. There are no foods or pills to help with height.